When Iranian-American Alex Tehrani and his wife Heather decided to plan a second traditional marriage ceremony in Iran, they knew it wasn't going to be easy. Against the backdrop of 30 years of hostile relations, Tehrani's sister documented the clash of cultures on film. A Rusi Persian wedding premieres on March the 17th on Independent Lens on PBS, and here's a sneak peek. This is going to be such a great trip. I'm, I am really excited. We grew up all these years looking at these pictures in the album of mom in Iran with the Iranian family. And I would always try to imagine that time and what it was like for everybody, for the Iranians, for dad's relatives, for her to be there. Somehow you get the sense looking at the pictures that it was all good. In 1968, our dad took our mom to Iran to have a Persian wedding. And then my grandparents came to America for the first time. This was during the Shah's era when people got to come and go. Iran and the U.S. were great allies, and on the surface, this alliance seemed to be great for all sides. Once Mossadegh was replaced with the Shah, the U.S. had complete access to Iran's oil. And with this partnership, the Shah set out to create a more modern and westernized Iran. The Shah had billions of dollars in oil revenues rolling in. And he used a lot of that money trying to turn Iran into a military superpower. The Shah made quite an impression on the world. But many Iranians were still frustrated. A lot of people were unemployed, and there was a growing divide between the rich and the poor. The reality was, Iran was still not a democracy. Iranians began to protest the Shah's leadership. They also protested America's unconditional support for him. It was the third day of demonstrations against the Shah. The demonstrations began peacefully, but some violence has been reported. Very quickly, people learned that anybody who opposed the Shah would pay for it. But the movement continued to grow against him, and the Shah refused to back down. He put many of these dissidents in jail. And six more will be sh shot, but because they are betraying their country, not because they're against me. Even America started to distance itself from this leader it helped create. This is when Ayatollah Khomeini, a Muslim cleric who had been exiled years before by the Shah, resurfaced. Khomeini has called repeatedly for his followers in Iran to overthrow the Shah. By November 1978, people from all different political and religious backgrounds were demanding that the Shah step down. This was the beginning of the Iranian Revolution. Eventually, things got so bad that the Shah and his family were forced to leave. Iranians had reached a breaking point. They were determined to keep America out of their internal affairs. Welcome. 
Baba, we're in your hometown, man. We got it, kid. What did that take us, 27 years to get here? Something like that. Simple colored scarf. Yeah, the scarf. Look at you, you're not so, Jackie O in the bazaar in Tajwish. Let's go. Hedge, it's lovely that you want to stand out and always be unique, but sometimes. I'm not trying to stand out and be unique. I brought two scarves a oh, gold one cool. and a pink one. Listen, listen, we're going to go to a place that they sell scarves for 15 cents. I think better not to, baby. They're holding hands over there. We have our but marriage much papers. Older. Yeah, but I don't feel that comfortable yet. Everybody is staring. <laughs> <laughs>